The sounds of the Manitowoc Lincoln, Lutheran, and Ron Colley High School bands filled the air on the shore of Lake Michigan the afternoon of May 20th as they played a song specifically composed for the 150th birthday of Manitowoc. They were also celebrating the maiden voyage of the SS Badger Car Ferry, which hundreds of people gathered to watch. Mayor Justin Nichols voiced his excitement in seeing the Badger yet again. This is always a great day in the city of Manitowoc because this is the unofficial start of summer, but it's just great to see our wonderful SS Badger back home port uh, for the sailing season and to welcome all the people and the industry coming into our port every day in, in summer here. Jim Barker, the chairman of Interlake Steamship Company, was also on hand for the first time as the new owners of the iconic vessel. We are delighted to be here, and uh, Mr. Mayor, we are so excited to uh, start this service and to serve Manitowoc and open up the Ludington Manitowoc uh, corridor. Mark Barker, the president of Interlake Maritime Services, was quite amazed at the sheer number of people that were on hand to celebrate the unofficial start to summer in Manitowoc. And I can just say thank you to the city of Manitowoc and to all of you coming down today. This is quite an experience. If, uh, and you know, We have not truly got to experience this firsthand. And, and when they said everyone would be out to see you, they were not kidding. Another person who was in attendance was Kathy Peterson, who has a very personal relationship with the 410-foot-long, 59-foot-wide vessel. She was in attendance when the ship was first launched in 1952, an experience she called both exciting and scary. My dad was a personnel director for Christie Corporation that built the Badger, and that's how I got invited to be at the launching. And as a little girl, I remember, actually, to be honest, I wanted to run out of there. It got kind of scary. The boat tipped so far to the side, and I was sure it was going to go underwater, and then all of a sudden it tipped right back up, and everybody was hooting and hollering and all excited, and that was it. Now, nearly 70 years later, Kathy brought her husband and grandson to watch the ship come to port. It never gets old. It's always exciting. Since we retired, we try to come on this initial day as often as we can, and it's always exciting. It's always a little emotional for me. Um, my dad's been gone 17 years, and I think of him every time I'm here. Kathy told us that she used to have family in Michigan, so she would take the trip across Lake Michigan on the Badger to see them. It's a fun experience. We do it now for fun. My family's not there anymore. We try to go maybe every other year. If you time it just right, sometimes if coming back, you know, it looks like the sun is going into the water. <laughs> it's, it's just phenomenal. It's just a great experience. Kathy also said that the turnout for this year's season kickoff is unlike any she's seen in previous years. She said that may be due in part to the lifting of COVID-19 restrictions, saying we are all looking for reasons to celebrate life, and this is one of them. The Badger will operate through October 10th, arriving in Manitowoc at noon each day and leaving at 2. For ticket information, visit ssbadger.com.